but it was a hook that did it. Boom! Right there! Money in the bank all day! We just witnessed a major showdown in the boxing world, one of the most memorable events of the year. Although Garcia predicted a first-round knockout, it was Haney's exceptional speed and power that took center stage, quickly pushing Garcia onto the defensive. At the start of the fight, Henny seemed to lack the initial knockout power, whereas Garcia displayed remarkable energy. However, round seven marked a dramatic turning point, leading to Ryan's ultimate victory. Congratulations. Coming into this fight, I think it's safe to say that no one believed you could win. We saw the odds go against you. 600, 700, 800 to 1. The fight's aftermath has sparked intense discussions among boxing experts, with Haney himself voicing his dissatisfaction. Let's explore the post-match analysis. Canelo Alvarez, the undisputed super middleweight champion known for his straightforward opinions, predicted Ryan's victory and held nothing back afterward. That was a war, he declared. I told everyone Ryan could win if he stayed focused, and he sure did. Canelo praised Garcia's knockout power, particularly highlighting the decisive seventh-round knockdown that seemed to unsettle Haney. Canelo also acknowledged Haney's focus and resilience, noting his ability to withstand highlight real knockdowns and fight back with remarkable toughness. Despite Garcia's explosive power posing a constant threat, Haney's championship experience and calmness stood out. Canelo recognized Garcia's potential but pointed out areas for improvement suggesting a rematch between Garcia and Haney could be on the horizon. He emphasized the importance of Garcia maintaining focus and dedication to training, while Haney would likely adjust his strategy for a potential rematch. When asked about a rematch, Garcia had expressed his willingness, saying, let's run it up again. With the lightweight division now wide open, Canelo predicts an exciting future, with both Garcia and Haney poised to be formidable contenders, each bringing their unique adjustments and strategies to the ring. Can be Devin, in your opinion, Canelo, if he's okay, like mentally? If he's 100%, yes. Yeah. Man, I don't know, man. I gotta gather my thoughts. At the end of the day, I need a shot of beer, like alcohol, something <laughs> to get my mind going, you feel me? Mike Tyson, the former undisputed world heavyweight champion, provided insightful commentary on the Garcia versus Haney fight, enriching the post-fight analysis. Tyson praised Garcia's outstanding performance, particularly in the first round, where he pressured Haney with relentless aggression. He also lauded Garcia's precise execution of a three-combination knockdown in the seventh round, demonstrating his grasp of boxing fundamentals. Tyson pointed out Haney's noticeable fatigue as the fight progressed, underscoring the match's intensity. He highlighted the mental aspect of boxing, noting Haney's challenge with pacing and energy conservation. Although Haney had a strong showing in the ninth round, Tyson observed Garcia's resurgence in the 10th round, marked by two knockdowns and consistent pressure. In Tyson's view, the 11th round secured Garcia's victory, revealing his unwavering determination and fighting spirit. He commended both fighters for their commitment to the sport and acknowledged the tough yet rewarding nature of boxing. Tyson believes Garcia has a bright future ahead, embodying the essence of A lot of people need to stop believing everything on the internet and stop, you know, living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real shit going on. You know, the last thing you should worry about as a kid, acting crazy on the internet. Nick Diaz, known for his direct style, offered candid insights into the fight. He praised Garcia's warrior spirit and echoed Garcia's post-fight remarks about proving doubters wrong. Diaz addressed the speculation surrounding Garcia's mental health emphasizing the strain the sport places on fighters and the need for resilience. Diaz analyzed the bout, noting Garcia's explosive start, where he shook Haney and his three-combination knockdown in the seventh round, which he considered exceptional feats. He also acknowledged Haney's visible fatigue, pointing out the challenge of strategic energy management in boxing. Despite Haney's strong performance in the ninth round, Diaz felt Garcia largely controlled the match. Garcia's dominance shown in the 10th round with two knockdowns and consistent pressure. Diaz praised Garcia's relentless push in the 11th round, impressing both fans and experts. Diaz commended Garcia's performance, 
recognizing his ability to fulfill his promises and make a notable comeback in the ring. In Diaz's view, Garcia's victory demonstrated his skill and determination, proving his critics wrong and showing that he could back up his words with actions. Diaz concluded that Ryan Garcia didn't just talk the talk. He walked the walk and emerged victorious. I knew we knew he was going to come in heavy. We knew he was going to come in heavy, and it cost him. That's two. Terrence That's Crawford, three. known for his impressive achievements as a three-weight world champion and one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters, shared his insightful perspective on the Garcia versus Devin Haney fight. Like fans worldwide, Crawford was eager for the bout and openly admired Garcia's performance. Crawford recognized Garcia as more than just a contender, seeing him as a powerful force in the ring. He praised Garcia's focus, determination, and control throughout the fight, emphasizing his potential to emerge as a true champion. Despite adversity, Crawford noted Garcia's composure and competitive spirit, disproving any doubts about his mental toughness. Looking ahead, Crawford expressed optimism about Garcia's future in boxing. He highlighted Garcia's youth, talent, and hunger for success as key factors for a bright career. If Garcia maintains the dedication and skill level he displayed in the bout, Crawford believes he can achieve even greater success. Crawford also praised Garcia's signature left hook for its speed, power, and precision, calling it a formidable weapon in Garcia's arsenal. He observed how Garcia's left hook surprised Haney, underscoring its impact on the fight. Additionally, Crawford lauded Garcia's performance in the first round, recognizing his agility, footwork, and strategic planning that set the tone for the match. Overall, Crawford's analysis offered valuable insights into Garcia's strengths and potential as a rising star in boxing. The opening exchanges showcased Garcia's assertive approach, indicating his readiness to take control. Crawford highlighted the pivotal 11th round knockdown as a significant moment that solidified Garcia's dominance. Garcia's precision and timing in delivering the decisive blow led Haney to the canvas, marking a key shift in momentum and securing Garcia's victory. Annie, in his post-fight remarks, praised Garcia's pressure and acknowledged his own dedication despite falling short. He expressed his willingness for a rematch and maintained his composure in defeat. The fight, featuring multiple knockdowns of Haney by Garcia, demonstrated California's raw talent. Although Haney, previously undefeated, expressed disappointment with his performance, he handled the loss gracefully. I love you so much. Come on, God, you really thought I was crazy. He acknowledged his vulnerability to Garcia's left hook, but highlighted his ability to bounce back. He expressed interest in a rematch due to the close fight. Hanny also noted Garcia's missed weight, suggesting it affected the bout and his own championship status. The result marked Garcia's comeback and ended Haney's unbeaten streak. I was more surprised than hurt. Um, the first time I wasn't really that hurt. I was more surprised. Like I said, he, he went in there, he jumped on me, just like he Garcia knew he would. But I was and just... Haney's rivalry dates back to their amateur days, where they split victories. Now, both fighters want a rematch, and the boxing community is eager for a definitive fight to settle the score. Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. See you next time.